All right, guys, welcome to episode 147 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. Another we appreciate one. everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And uh, yeah, man, we appreciate y'all that are coming back. We appreciate the first time listeners, and we appreciate the real supporters. Peace of love. Welcome back. It's a beautiful Thursday. How we feeling, Johnny boy? How we feeling? How we feeling? Shit, man. I'm feeling good, man. Uh, I had a good weekend, man. And a good week. We're headed. To, we're headed to the uh, to the new weekend now. Uh, it was pretty cool. I went Word. to a con- I went to a country concert. You know what I mean? It was different. I Round to- of applause to the country concerts. You I went. Know what I mean, yeah. I went to Toby Keith. He was Toby live. Keith. Yeah. Shout out to Dan Newland. You know what yeah, I mean? man. Biggest free. Uh, Concert, concert in like Florida or some shit. Yeah, I was like, oh man, it's crazy. It, yeah, he was he was really uh he was really into. It. He was swagged out. His girlfriend could be like my my fucking little sister or something. <laughs> That's kind of yeah, he was Dan, out there. Yeah, he was on the stage. He was like rocking, rocking and rolling. His wife was up there too. Everybody, uh, he was squad deep. Cool. Yeah, bro, it was a big stage. You could tell he invested a lot of money into it. Like he was like, you know what, man, I'm gonna take care of y'all. Do this once a year. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And. It was cool. Um, yeah, man. Shout it, out that's Kane. A vibe. Shout out Kane. He uh, he's the one that invited me to go with like four other girls. Pretty cool. You know what I mean? And I uh, said, "Hey, you can't beat that, man." He step out, little country concert. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He said, "If you ain't white, you ain't right." Yeah, that's where he's at right yeah, now. He yeah. needs a white girl with some black feet that <laughs> yeah. only wears boots, no socks. Yeah, and have have a little bit of you know a little crust in your ears, you know. Yeah, well, that's crazy. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> Nah, just That's kidding. fucking wild. He said he'll fuck you on a four wheeler by the river. Yeah, by the river. Like with a beaver. With a beaver. <laughs> <laughs> by the river. On the river. Nah, but shout out to Kane, man. You know, he, he came awesome through, time, man. man. He came awesome through. time. Um, Those are the type of friends you need around you, man. They invite you out every once in a while. Like, yo, bro, let's just go out. Let's have a drink or whatever. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's just vibe, man. Yeah, let's have a let's good vibe. fucking time, you know? Freaking time. And, uh,. <laughs> We're trying so hard not to curse anymore, guys. Yeah. And now nah, it was cool, man, because it's not really my type of like, I didn't know any song, bro, to the concert. You know what I mean? Like, right. I don't even think Kane did either, but his girls yeah. did and all that. And we're just like, yo, like, it's different. Everybody yeah. was nice to each other. I even got some free moonshine from this guy because I was bagging in his truck trying to help him out. And he's like, yo, man, yeah. since y'all cool, man, I'm going to fucking. Here's some shit to fuck you up. Yeah. Excuse my language. <laughs> <He's> like- <laughs> He's like, since y'all were so cool, man, take some moonshine. Take some moonshine. Call take, me tomorrow. Hey, call me tomorrow. <laughs> Let me know what you think. It's like Coquito to them, you know? Yeah, and that's like Pitorro to them. Oh, Pitorro. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, Pitorro. It's all the same thing, man. It's just moonshine. Somebody fermented some alcohol. That's yeah. But it was cool, it man. You know, nah, I was wearing, vibe, I was wearing plat and shit. You know, we were, yeah, we were out here. Lumberjack. Looking, yeah, I was looking like a lumberjack, you know? And uh, But I had the Nikes on, so I had to let them know, like, yo. Uh, I'm still I'm still Hispanic, bro. Hey, bro. I'm still Hispanic. Don't let I'm, this orange beard fool you. I'm an island boy. Island boy. Okay? Don't forget it. Nah, but we had to let them know, man. I, I was swagged out. You know, everywhere I go, I always got to be swagged out. I don't care if I'm going yeah, to the man, store. Yeah, man, you got to be presentable, bro. You got to be presentable. And there's sometimes you might catch me on a bad day. Yeah. No, nah, this, <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. guy has had some some bad days, like all of us, bro. But oh, it's man. like, no, nah, for the most part, it's true. Like, you you only have a first time to make a good impression. You only have one time to make a good impression when you first meet somebody. You know what I'm saying? At least look presentable. Yeah. It's like Dan Pena. I'd be watching his videos. He's like, yo, the way that some of y'all come into my offices dress, I wouldn't give you fucking toilet paper. <laughs> Straight up. He's like, y'all y'all coming in here asking for a business loan and the way you're dressed, I wouldn't hand you a roll of toilet paper, bro. I swear. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Like, and it's true. Like, you got to take a little bit of pride in the way, you know what I'm saying? How you carry yourself, the way you look. It opens doors for you, as shallow as it sounds. You know what I'm saying? It, it really does. But it's true. Yeah, man. You know what, what's also true? I feel like IHOP, Denny's, and Perkins are all the same thing. How you feel, my boy? I mean, I went to IHOP last night. I got real. I got wasted. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like I, I didn't even smoke that much to be real with y'all. It was drink, all I, drink. I was drinking. I had like two joints before I got there. Uh, you know what I mean? It's a vibe. Yeah, I didn't bring no bud there because I was like, nah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I want to get know, arrested I, at the I, country concert. Yeah, yeah, after my luck, you know, I, bro, I've, <laughs> I've had some weird shit happen to me. I swear. Like recently, I was, you know, I angels just be watching, bro. Angels be watching. <laughs> I'm just chilling And we're just chilling in the garage We're just smoking Minding our own business We get a knock on the door And it's like the police And he's like Hey man uh, 
we got to call somebody who was smoking marijuana. And I was like, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I was like, yeah, it's like, we, you still got to deal with this shit in 2020, almost 2022. Yeah. I'm not like, I'm not even like near the conversation, but I could hear it. And I was in the garage and I was like, wow, this cannot be happening right now. And he goes, do you have your card? And I was just like, not to me, but to him. And he's like, no, we're actually smoking. Uh, we're smoking hemp. We're actually smoking Delta eight is actually under the limit law. Of 0.3 And I was like Got his ass I was like wow And he, and then Jay was just like Yo um, You want me to bring you The container and show you And he's like Yeah wow I never heard of this Like I think I, Like I, th- I think You still need your card right And he, and then Jay's like Nah Nah I can smoke this all day Exactly Like a cigarette And I'm just sitting there like Bro I'm nervous as fuck Cause I'm just like I've This guy sounds like an asshole and then when everything started like loosening up, he was like, oh man, you know, and he felt bad because he didn't know about that. He's mm-hmm. like, wow, I didn't even know. So that says a lot. Police officers, know your freaking laws, man. You know what I mean? Bro, a lot no, of it's the changing times, every day. It t- it laws change. Every and day. It's a lot to learn a lo- your laws, bro, in six months when you yeah. go through the academy. Yeah, like, exactly. You really got to go home and study it yourself. It's not anything else. Like, no, he was cool, man. He was a good guy. You could he came back and most, knocked on most the, cops yeah. are man. Yeah. There's a lot of cops that are good guys, bro. They're not trying to deal with. They're not trying to do anything extra. No, he came you back and apologized. He was like, "Hey, man, you know, I put in the report that you know, even if you guys did want to smoke the other stuff, it wouldn't really matter at this point." And then he was just like, "Yeah, oh, you're wow. not bothering anybody. You're on private property, bro. You can't like, yeah, they could smell it, but they like you're not bothering nobody." Nobody's yeah. getting beat up. Nobody's being loud. Nobody's doing nothing like yeah, that. That's you're what in he your said. own private property. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, going back to the original question I asked this guy, this guy's high. Yeah. Uh, I hop Denny's and uh, Perkins, bro. I'm going to go with fucking Perkins out of all three of them. Why? But Why I don't Perkins? know, man. I feel like Perkins, they're, they might just have a little bit better food, like quality wise. You know what I'm saying? They might use organic eggs over regular eggs or something. I don't know. I don't know. Just, to I me, it like tastes it. a little better. And uh, nah, they got a nice bakery. They got a good bakery. They got some good D- stuff. Do they wear the little hat? Oh, I don't know. Like bro. in the commercial, I remember seeing a Perkins commercial, and it was like <laughs> one of those like chefs, like Chef Boy RD hats. Well, I don't know if they wear those. But oh well, then you're not a real bakery, okay? Uh, I don't know if they bake stuff. They I bake don't know. Them. Yeah, it's true because we have Spanish bakeries, and they don't wear that. They don't crap. wear no type of hat. Yeah, they just be out there cooking the best quesitos you ever fucking had. <laughs> yeah, bro, I swear. <laughs> Straight and up, there's a glass like right there, and it says "Don't touch." We'll we'll pick it out for you. Nah, you know what facts. I mean? We'll give it to you. Don't touch the. Bro, the you ever saw the Johnny Dang leaving Denny's? He's like, fuck uh, this place. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's He's what like, I'm bitch ass He's like, it's got me full. It's got me full. He mad, nigga, because they told you to fucking wait. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Yo, we full. I don't care that you got a grill in your mouth, nigga. Yeah. This so, shit's fucking bad. Bro, you're bad. four feet tall, and you're a millionaire. Bro, you're trying to come and clear out half the restaurant for you and 15 other motherfuckers. No. Yeah. You got to wait. You, no, that ass. We you got to wait. Jimmy over here. Hey, freaking, bro, I was waiting. I had to wait 20 minutes sitting down. Bro. And I was just like, it's it was part packed. of life. It was packed. And I was just like, man, I'm starving, bro. Nah, like it's like, bro. The other day, I was watching the Joe Budden podcast, and he talked about how like he was at a restaurant, and like Cardi B and Offset showed up out of nowhere, and they just like everybody had to wait until they were done. No. They weren't even letting <laughs> niggas in the restaurant. Imagine you, that you got can't me leave. fucked up. Like, but, no, no, but you have a reservation already. Imagine you're like you <laughs> showed up at the time. And you were like, because that's what Joe Budden was complaining about. He's like, bro, I shut, I, like, I had the reservation for like a week. I had the best room in the fucking, you know what I'm saying? Oh like, my god! And he's like, and I show up, and they're like, Car- Cardi and Offset are here, bro. Like, you're gonna have to slow. Like, down. You can wait, or you can just take your food to go. Like, who you are choose. you? Like, bro, you're just, you just have a podcast, bro, Like, seriously, nah, that's swag, man. Round of applause to Cardi. She came a long way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because, bro, they shut, they shut it down for like her, her man, and like ten other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were just like, nah, we hungry. And we here. Damn. That's like one of the best restaurants in, in New York, too, bro. Like, it's hard to get in there. And they just pulled up. Swag. <laughs> 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 they say, hey, everybody get out. We hungry. Get the fuck out. Yeah, but I don't know. Something about IHOP, man. I don't know. Something about it. I like their coffee, too. I'm a coffee guy. Hey, man. You know, if you if you're low life and you like coffee, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm just going to places because you I'm like coffee. Playing, then, yeah, nice. Coffee, coffee's good, I guess, bro. It's just never been my cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, that I'm weird when it comes to that shit. Like in Hispanic households, if you don't drink 
three cups of coffee a day, bro. Like you're disowned type shit. There's only two things I chase in this world. <laughs> Okay, Ricky. There's only, there's, only, there's only two things I chase in this world. Okay, it? it's my liquor and my coffee. Okay, you, you know chase what? Your last liquor, night, you chase your coffee. Not last night, but the other night, you chase your coffee with your liquor. Some mm. that was confusing. That's, that's that shit. My swag, brain, though. my brain just like yeah, exploded. You don't even know. His his eyes went like this. <laughs> yes, I. <did>. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, man, like. There's only two things I chase, all right? It's those two. Yeah. All right? Bro. But do I chase women? Yes, I've chased women before in the past. We've done it. We've done it. I've chased women. Yeah, I have. you do it. But then you learn not to do it. Yeah. Not to do it as much. And not, to, not to apply too much pressure. Because you, when you apply too much pressure, that's when it's like, ah. Bro, just listen, you know? man. If you're interested, show you're interested. Yeah. But don't be smothering. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Some yeah. guys are smothering. Like, yeah. like they got to hit her up every hour on the hour. Yo, what you doing? Oh, like, bitch, no, she no, just no. told you she's working Give today. Give her space. Yeah. yeah. Like, bruh, bruh. Yeah. You're going to push her away so fast into the next nigga's arms. It's not even funny, bro. That's pretty much the reason why I kind of just, like, been getting more women. I'm not even gonna lie yeah, to you. You, like back. The, you know, especially when you get 24, 25, you really start to understand the game. You really do. Yeah, you, you're, bro. My boy always told me, "Rest in peace, Johnny." Man, he always told me, "He's like, bro, you're 21 right now, so you're at a certain level of women. Once you hit 25, 30, it's it opens your it opens the horizon up for women." He always told me that, and I never understood it. Until I turned 25, and then women that were, like, 32, you know what I'm saying? Thir like, they want to start, like, it's a different mindset. Like, a woman that's 30, she's, she's going to mess with a 25-year-old before a 21-year-old. It's just too much of an age. Like, it's too much of a gap. I mean, some people don't think like that, but a lot of people do. Because it's like, what are we really, like, are we, comp like, what are we going to talk about? It's like dating somebody that's 30 years younger than you or older than you. Think about it. It's like... The music you're into, I've never heard of. The songs, you know what I'm saying? The, like, yeah, it doesn't. Every, it's just way too much of a difference. Yeah, and it's true, man. So last night, bro, like I actually did a little bit of chasing and I just backed off. I was like, oof, you know? Yeah, you got you to gotta relax sometimes. You like know? Dolph said, don't put your mouth on these hoes either. Yeah, I've done it. Don't put your mouth on these hoes. You know what I mean? I didn't put my mouth on these hoes, but. Hey, bro, like, you know? I might get me a little white girl. I don't know. I felt like. I felt I kind of got denied Not denied Because it went well But she kind of just Disappeared on my ass mm. Like she was gone like She we're, broke we're, his eye Yeah Like it was like Her man was there like she, she was just like She took your eye And she broke it And then ran off with it But and you didn't know but What Kane's, to do But Kane's like Yo My boy Kane He's like yo I, I mean, know you three He's other like ones. I know you I was very impressed And I, you always go With the baddest <laughs> one And I always do And I shouldn't I shouldn't I just I looked at the group And I was like yeah, I want you. And I she knew you, it. Baby. And, she, and she knew it. But then just reality kicked in. She's like, oh, I got a man. I got a. Hey, sometimes you get caught up in the moment and it, it was, feels good for a couple minutes. But yeah, then reality that was smacks quick, you in the back of your fucking head. That was a quick moment. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, bro. Nah, bro. I Like, I feel like falling back and just playing it cool, bro. It weeds out the women that aren't interested. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight yeah. up. Like, it just. Is, we live in, a, in an age and time, bro, where women, a lot of women will let you know. I know people that are married where the woman proposed. Yeah, like, you know, like, it's, just, it, yeah. it's that it's today's age, bro. Like, yeah, it's, it's just, different. They, they it's a to different make, time. Exactly. Um, I was also going to say something, man. Dang, man. I'm kind of lit right now. My dog, Liddy Titty. But yeah, man, um, it's always good. It's always good to know when you're drinking and you know you got guaranteed pussy at the end of the night. Facts, and but to do that, bro, you can't get too drunk. You gotta exactly, know how to handle it. Ex exactly, and that's one thing that really turns me off with women sometimes. Yeah, and it's listen, like, ladies, ladies, please look, like, look. Please, when like, we ask you something, sometimes we we're not just a scumbag; we're gentlemen for it. And it's like when we ask you, "Hey, do you smoke? Hey, do you drink?" It's because we're asking you. Underlying question is: Can you handle this? Because yeah. if you can't, then don't. 
Yeah. And a lot of girls, I don't know if y'all want to be down or you just you're turning up for the first time in a minute or whatever the case may be. But it's like, but after y'all get a little it, too drunk. It's and okay then the it's first like, time. It's always OK for there's always it good for the first time. But when you see it continuously, yeah, it's a pattern. It's, it's like, like, bro, it's every like, other even, party, you're like passing out. It's like, like it's not e- not even passing out. You're just you're just walking weird. You're wobbling. You're, you, you know, you can't really speak right. You don't know what's going on. Like, it's kind of like, come on. You like, become a liability. Yeah. And it's you like, become a liability. I don't even want to deal with you. And there was one thing that my uncle always taught me. He's like, yo, never take advantage of a woman that's drinking. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of women, bro, they're down and they're, you know what I'm saying? They're down with you that night and you're both drunk and it's whatever. And then the next day they're hollering rape. Exactly. And as men, you got to be cautious of that. You yeah. got to know. But ultimately who, who you, are they gonna believe? like the type of woman you hang around will also determine that yep exactly you know so like, that's why you gotta that's one thing that i stay i steer really really far away from because there was a girl that i really really liked bro mm-hmm. and i really did like wow she's cute she's beautiful and i saw her drinking the first night it was like, ah you know uh, it wasn't that cool i mean but whatever it happens mm-hmm. she's young you know you got to think about it like that too 21 22 years old you're just starting to get like blasted legally yeah, it's that age, man. You know, but I don't know. I feel like we were different, bro. You know what I mean? Like we we started drinking way earlier, early at an early age. And yeah, we just, not to not to glamorize it, but yeah, I feel like we went through those stages at like sixteen, seventeen. Like we had already had those drunk nights at that age where I was like, bro, I don't want to drink like that again. I learned my lesson. But at this, yeah, but after the second time and you do it, it's like, okay, this is how you're really rocking. Like, nah, like, yeah, yeah, you just like can't just, handle your stuff, and you but you want to do it, and I can't do that, you and know? that's cool. But yeah. I can't be the one that's always responsible for you. It's you know embarrassing. It's embarrassing to me, like to be with somebody. So, like, what I did was I was like, "Yo, I hit up her friend because she handled herself better." I'm not gonna sit here and be with somebody that's gonna make me look weird yeah, and, and, and facts and, and and like wow, like this is how he gets his girl. Like he lets her just get lit like that, like. To the point where, like, you don't even know what you're saying. You don't know even what you're doing. You're not making sense. Nah, like, yeah, nah. That's bad. That's bad. If if that's how you get most of the times when you turn up, you probably shouldn't turn up. <laughs> or if you're at the turn up, just... Just start drinking water. Just, yeah, just, like, hit the blunt a couple times and drink some water. Or juice. Whatever. You'll be all right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You'll be all right. Yeah. But... Don't do that to yourself. You know what I'm you're saying? Because now you problems. You're, 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 like, that, that just opens up a whole different door to, to problems, like you just said. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. listen, man, when you throw up in a party, bro, and we've all done it, those angels out there, y'all might not have never done nothing in your life. But for us, we've thrown up. Is the night over for you? Is the night over? Oh, my gosh. Is the night over for you? You know, once people are like, yeah, we're back. <laughs> There's people like that I've seen where they throwing up, throwing up, and they're like, no, nah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. That was my, my boy Kane, he fucking, uh, sorry to, sorry to sh- you know, shout you out again, but, you know. Putting all my dog's business out there. My shout dog, out to Kane. My dog's like, Bleh! throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I was like, bro, wait till you hit this tree. You're going to feel good, bro. I promise you. And then Sometimes that shit will make you throw up even more. Yeah, he did a little bit, and then he was like, ass. he was like, "Yo, the tree made me feel better because we're we're in IHOP talking, we're yeah. good." And then he's little like, by he's little, back. and then the food will help. You yeah. know what I'm saying all all of it'll start kicking in. I can't do it. Once I'm throwing up, I'm done for the night. I'm not trying to look at you. No, nah, I'm with you. Like, if I'm I not. throw up, first of all, bro, I'm so glad. Like we just said, I learned my limits and my levels at a very early age. Fact. So once I start feeling myself like, oh no, nah, it's coming, I'm out. I'm not going to drink no more and I'm out. I'm going to start drinking water. I'm going to start drinking something else. Yeah. I think that's the problem with some people. They don't have that self-control where it's like once they're already drinking, they know what's coming, but they just keep fucking hammering. And I like to do it. I think I just have a high tolerance and I'm able to handle myself. Some people can get really plastered and just. And you really wouldn't know. And you wouldn't really know. Like, I'm still good. Like, yeah, like. That's being an adult. Yeah. (laughs) Like, you learn how to. Bro, listen, learn how to handle your liquor. Bro. Yeah, exactly. Learn how to handle your liquor. Learn how to handle whatever it is that you're doing. If you can't handle it, it's probably not for you. And it's okay. Like, I remember back in the day when I was a teenager, I would smoke, and some people would get so high, they get paranoid, they start freaking out, whatever. And I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like, you saw, like, yo, you're a lightweight. It's like, yeah, they are, and it's okay. Like, everybody yeah. ain't going to be Snoop Dogg smoker. Everybody's not going to be freaking... Uh, you know Andre the Giant drinking beers drinking the 24 pack to the face like you know what I'm saying like everybody's different man and it's okay just be real with yourself and if you can't handle it you can't handle it you know what I'm saying that ass straight up and if the people around you can't understand that then those aren't your people 
Like, those aren't the people you need to be around. If you're like, nah, I'm cool, and they're still, nah, come on, stop being a pussy. Nah, I'm cool. Man, come on, why are you even out here? If you, I might if do, the, I if might do that once. That, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be that friend and be like, man, come on. Nah, bro, I feel like if somebody says no, fuck it. I'm not gonna keep doing it. I'll like, probably do cool, it once. Like, yeah, it's just cool, to, just to be like. If you said no the first time, they, it's no. Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. It, it's there if you want it, bro. Just know that. Yeah, yeah, facts. The bottle's there. Facts. <laughs> nah, you motherfucker, you better take that shit, you little puss. You better freaking take you it. You better fucking ruin your life yeah. with me tonight. Yeah, we better get <laughs> plastered. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, you fucking wild. Nah, dude. I'm just you playing. Wild. I'm just playing, bro. I'm nah, yeah, that. but that's that's really how I feel, bro. Once I'm once I throw up, bro, it's gay. it's over, bro. I thought you said I'm that's gay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking going to sleep though, nah, bro. I got I, I, like, I got so messed up last night that I hit a cigarette, bro. I'm so like disappointed in myself. But you know what? One of the one of the things you taught me, bro. I would never have a lighter on me ever. And one of the things no, I was this guy, this guy was abusive with that. Like yeah. he'd pull up with a half <laughs> ounce to roll and not have a light it. And then they used to be worse back in the day because yeah. this guy would have a pack of cigarettes and weed to roll and still no lighter. No lighter, yeah. It's like, bro, how do you live? How do you survive? You just be going to your backyard and rubbing two sticks yeah, together? Just <laughs> like freaking fuck? Patrick. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> Nah, it used to be really, really bad, but like, man, I I'm so glad I had a lighter last night, man. Because like, on top Smooth, of it, bro, you pull it out like, I'm hey, out baby. here. She's like, hey, her lighter wasn't working. She's like, hey, do you have a lighter? And I was just like, yeah. And I was like, can I have one? And she's like, yeah. And I was just like, wow. Next thing you know, I forgot I'm with five other girls, four other girls. I gotta get out of here. I skid out. I was like, hey, I'm sorry, I got a girl. Hey. That's why I told her. And she was just like, oh, it's okay. And then that was it. Mm. Man. Listen, it happens sometimes. Yeah. But it's always good to carry a lighter, bro. You never yeah. know what you know who you're gonna meet that's gonna need one. Exactly. Straight up. That was that was a vibe though. That was cool, man. But I feel disgusted. I haven't smoked a cigarette in over like three years. I can't believe I did that. Yeah, man. You're a piece of shit. I, I hope know. you know that. I don't know, man. Don't ever do it again. Okay, so don't that's disrespect three things. yourself like that. That's three things. I actually chased my nicotine because look, I just Man. Now listen, I can't talk too much shit, bro. I've been on blunts heavy for the past like six months, bro. And I we, we was just talking about that. It's like I need to get back on papers, bro. Papers. Yeah, bro. what are we doing, man? We man, we were really like, fuck, we were man, on a streak. We were on it. We were on a streak for like almost a man, year. Almost a year. It was like almost a year, bro. We yeah. had, I smoked no blunts, no tobacco products, period, for almost and a year. And we felt better. We yeah, felt better. bro. That everything at the thing. gym was going smoother, cardio, shit felt better, bro. It's like I need to get back to that, bro, for real. Cause, Cause I, I love my blondes. Yeah, I we're just we're, I'm addicted to that feeling of just having something in my hand and smoking it. Yeah, it's like know? the fixation of of just hitting something. Exactly. Yeah, nah, facts. But it's like, nah, I'm I'm addicted to them blunts, bro. Keeping it real, them blunts are addicting, bro. They give it a little extra, you know, spice, and it's yeah, just like they give you. It's like it's a foggy, different than a joint. They're both great. It's a foggy. They're both great. It's a foggy high. They're both great. It's just that the blunts aren't great for you. You know exactly. Yeah. Like they're both great for the high. Yeah, but, yeah. It's great overall for me, you know, but like it's not good like on the other like medical health nah, side. Look at know? the bottom of every pack. It tells you, yo, this shit might cause cancer. Yeah, don't smoke <laughs> if you're pregnant. <laughs> you know what like, I mean? You're just like, yeah, let me get seven packs of that. This, this shit has camel fucking shit in it. I was like, yo, you know? bro, this like, shit was sprayed down with like the fucking you know, bombs from like Afghanistan, and you're like, oh, okay, I don't care. Two palmas. You know the dust that you get from the fireworks? You take it all up, you scrape it, and you throw it in the blind, you mix it all up like a coconut. That's all how right. it is, bro. Nah, facts, bro. It's different. It's definitely a different vibe. Nah, bro. bro. But yeah, man, guys, listen. We're about to be on. Yeah. We appreciate every single last one of you. Love Stay you. tuned, all right? Patreon. We're going to be having Patreon coming up real soon. It's going to be a whole different vibe. We're bringing out dab rigs. We're bringing out blunts, joints. We just said we're going to stop blunts. Look at me talking, man. Yeah, you know we're what gonna, I mean. You know what we're talking about, though. It's going to be a whole different vibe. Maybe wet t-shirt contest. Maybe we might whatever. have some strippers. You know what I'm saying? Dancing we might have us. some strippers on this table shaking. All right? Who knows? So, we might who have. Knows? We might have freaking drugs on the table. Hey, bro, you got to stay tuned. You got to stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? And but, if you want to see that, you got to pay. You gotta pay. And you gotta pay for the final you things. Pay life, to baby. Play. You gotta pay to play, all right? Yep. But listen, we appreciate you. We love you. And uh, tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs>